how was uh, Josh Lustig's uh, PowerPoint? Too good. Josh, we had a deal. You were going to come in at 50%. Pretty sure that wasn't 50%. And if it was, you can't come next year. <laughs> so, how long you been with us? Um, well, I've been here four weeks, but I was out a week for the snowpocalypse, so right. this is my third week actually in the office. Okay, so we was at the Medicare Con, and you was here writing apps. Yep, yep, yep. First time by yourself pretty much, right? Yeah, well, I had Mallory here. She was great help. Nice. So, yeah. So how many apps did you write? I wrote um, eight apps while, while the crew was gone. We wrote, wrote 17 for the week, but for two days everybody was gone, I wrote eight apps. So, so, you know how you don't get enough credit, do you? I know. I'm just here trying not to have a baby. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I took away from the conference was to trust your team and go ahead and delegate some of your tasks that you think you can probably do best yourself. If you've got a team for a reason, go ahead and trust them. Allow them to take care of a lot of this stuff from you. So, uh, like I said, just personally, one of my big takeaways was you know, trust your team that you built. But at least. Yeah, I think there was two things for me. One is that sometimes we take for granted what we really have here in our agency. And we don't realize that uh, there's a lot of other agencies out there or agents that don't have access to what we have because we're very innovative here. Um, so that was one, um, to be to be better at sharing and, and building that community and, and, and you know just make giving more access to the things that we have here and, and not take that for granted. Uh, but the main thing for me was that during Josh's presentation was it really investing in yourself to see how much that Josh had invested himself and then see the the byproduct of that, you know, the after effects of, of really where um, he has come. And so kudos to him but it challenged me to invest in myself to not wait for someone else to do it for me to you know get out of my comfort zone invest more in myself to be a better agent a better leader a, a better whatever um, in whatever areas that I want to grow in of course that would be all areas but so invest in yourself was a big takeaway for me Donnie what did you learn um, more than anything it's accountability that I take away from conferences like that so I mean I know that it's I don't know if that was really one that was a topic of discussion or a speech, but the environment that we're around and the people that are there motivate me and unknowingly oftentimes hold me accountable um, because I, I guess for a lame term, I don't want to let anybody down, but I just want to, it, they, they make me strive to be like them. So that's what I always take away from those conferences. Is if you get in the room, Know, get in the room with people that are evaluating. You know, if you get in the room with the right people, it does keep you accountable. Now, there was a lot of context provided here, but it's so funny that people always resort to like mindset and accountability and things is what they took away the most. Um, but there's a lot of practical application in there. So, Zach, uh, the uh, future tense from Josh Leslie, speaking in future tense. Actually helped me yesterday. I wrote something yesterday using that. When you get this policy, in when future. Yeah. That's very practical. Future tense. So he said um, when, not if. Future pacing. Number five, start. Tyree said promote your team, not yourself. And I thought that was really cool because. I personally am a very selfish person. Everybody has a dark side. That's probably my darkest side. I'm a very selfish person. So like, and I, I don't know why, but I like to try to outpace it. It's not about that. You need to be a team player. So that's really what I'm getting at. Rob doesn't like admin stuff. Rob would need to do more admin work. It's a joke, it's a joke Rob. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. How well I know. <laughs> when you do this for me. Yeah. When yeah. you do this for me. <laughs> Y'all, we just go look you at my email. great about what you've accomplished. <laughs> no, I thought that was a great point, too. I thought that was a really good point. I think we need to cover um, how Rob is able to take a word that everyone knows and, and pronounce it a different way. So for instance, admin, admin, ancillary, ancillary. Uh, so if you could give a course on that, Rob. Like it, I th honestly, especially, I think it's like they're like all the customers, especially, especially, especially. <laughs> all the all the customers. He was are going, so annoyed by that at the seminar. Oh, awesome.
skip no one. Skip, skip, skip. You're clear. Yeah. <laughs> what did you play for? Uh, what was best for me was, uh, so the speakers were great, but also the, the people that were there. Um, if you're proactive and you know, socializing with people, and they'll, they'll share information. A lot of it you'll hear over and over again. So it's like, oh shoot, well that must be the truth. I heard that from five different agents. Um, but I, I was able, one guy in particular, uh, Dusty from IFG, he was really, really helpful. Dusty Edwards. Yeah, he's awesome. So, yeah. I think that's something I've said a lot. Like when I, every time I go to any event, I learn a lot just communicating with people in between. Not just the speakers. You can't expect everything to come from the main stage. A lot of times it comes from just getting out there communicating. So if you go to events and you're not and you're and you're going and you're taking notes and you're going back to your room and sleeping, you're missing out on the best part by far. Do you have to get wasted to communicate with people? No. Some people are going to drink and do things like that, but you just have to go out there and communicate. Um, and Rob didn't drink anything because he's the Medicare minister. Um, he's looking for a job, by the way. Uh, but <laughs> Rob didn't drink anything, and he still communicated with people and learned a lot from, from the back and forth. That's a great point. I think community, building that community, you got to be intentional about it, right? Like you can't wait for people to come to you. you got to go to people. So, yeah, it was, that's a good point. <laughs>